We went on a trip and we want to know exactly how far did we go. Given our speed and the time that passed by, all we have to do is multiply. I like driving my blue track on long trips. If I travel at an average speed of 83 kilometers an hour, how far can I go in two days and two nights? I'll give you a hint. If you're stuck, you can use the formula. The distance I travel equals the length of time I spend traveling multiplied by my speed. Let's see if we can work out how far Blue travels in his truck. His speed is 83 kilometers per hour. He drives for two days and two nights, so that's a total of 48 hours. Now, how do we figure out the total distance he covers in 48 hours? If Blue travels at 83 kilometers an hour, in one hour, he covers a distance of 83 kilometers. But then he travels another hour. So we have to add another 83 kilometers. Then another hour and another 83 kilometers. We have to repeat this process 48 times because that's the number of hours he spends traveling. To get the total distance travelled, we could then add up all those individual distances. 83 plus 83 plus 83 and so on. But that's going to take me a long time to do and there's a much quicker way of solving the problem. A problem involving repeated addition can be rewritten as a problem involving multiplication. If I have five groups of three, I can either add them up using repeated addition, three plus three plus three plus three plus three, or if I know my times tables, I can multiply five times three, which I know equals 15. In fact, that's what times tables are for to make problems involving repeated addition quicker to solve. Let's see if we can use this in our present problem. We have 48 groups of 83, so we could use repeated addition to add them up. But a quicker way is to solve the equivalent multiplication problem. 48 times 83. Let's do it! Draw a box. Divide it into two columns because the first number, 48, has two digits. Divide it into two rows because the second number, 83, has two digits. You end up with a box divided into four smaller boxes. Now, draw a diagonal through each of the smaller boxes. Write 48 along the top of the box. And 83 down the right-hand side of the box. Next, Multiply and fill in the blanks. 8 times 8 is 64. 8 times 3 is 24. 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times 3 is 12. Next, add up the numbers along the diagonals. Four, 
Four plus two plus two is eight. Six plus two plus one is nine. Three. Now read off the answer. Three, nine, eight, four. Forty-eight times eighty-three equals three thousand nine hundred and eighty-four. So if blue travels eighty-three kilometers an hour for two days and two nights, he covers a total distance. Of three thousand nine hundred and eighty-four kilometers. That's almost the distance between Sydney and Perth. Now that's a long trip, isn't it?